Man, I'm glad I get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow. Oh! Again, this is live. I always get confused. It's been, again, it's been a long week. I'm glad that I actually have to take a break from wrestling. And Tranquilo. And Shanti. But I'm here to talk about SmackDown. And this will probably be the last show. I'll get into it probably what's going on the weekend with me shortly, or at the end. But let's just get right to the point. It's the end of WrestleMania week. Or officially the end. Doesn't end for me and probably until Saturday. But we had this SmackDown after WrestleMania and it was pretty good. A lot better than Raw. Um, to start off, the New Day come out. All decked out New Day celebration. New Day every day. They have the rainbow balloons over the ring. They have a uh, different colored ring. It's like a really bright electric blue color for the ring. And it was fun. And they come out, again, all the promos and the highlights from WrestleMania. I think a little bit from Monday Night Raw. It was really good because, of course... Those dastardly heels, the bar, 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 show up. And Drew McIntyre also shows up too. And it was pretty cool because they're like, well, who's going to join you? The first time in a while, and I like this. The crowd was chanting, who, 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 who. I'll tell you what, that was a really hot crowd too. And <laughs> get into that in a little bit. So again, um, The Bar, Sheamus, and Cesaro announced that Drew's going to be their, their partner for the six-man tag. That'll be the main event. Then the next match, another six-man tag. You have Aleister Black, Ricochet, and Ali. I don't like the fact that they're shortening the names. It should be Mustafa Ali. Versus Rusev. Rusev was always Rusev. Shinsuke Nakamura. And Andrade. Din Almas! I'll tell you what, for the first five minutes, the crowd didn't think about, oh, 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 that Brooklyn crowd loves them some Shinsuke Nakamura. And I'll tell you what, it was a pretty fun match. Um, then they, of course, started to chant NXT. Because again, I think everyone except for Ali, yeah, was in NXT at one point. Well, I think, yeah, Rusev was there. That was in the real early days. Um, a really fun match. I mean, Ricochet and Shinsuke Nakamura. I don't know. I need someone to see if Ricochet ever faced Shinsuke Nakamura when Ricochet and Shinsuke Nakamura were in New Japan Pro Wrestling at the same time. I don't think... Ricochet was around when Shinsuke was in NXT. Or if he was, it was really at the tail end. And he was just being introduced. So, I, I don't know. Because I know Ricochet every so often would, would take part in New Japan events. As, of course, King Ricochet. So, I just don't have that extensive background in New Japan Pro Wrestling. But yeah, but the match again was really fun. Rusev and, and Ricochet, they have a fast pace. I mean, it's like, well, yeah, well, they had arm bars. That arm bar lasted like five seconds, and then it tried. The thing is, if you're going to do a rest hold, headlock, arm bar, anything like that, as long as it really transitions into a whole sequence of events, I'm fine with it. I mean, it, it's, it has a purpose. It sets things up. People can catch their breath. They can communicate. And it makes the match that much better. I mean, it's one thing if it's headlock after, armbar after, reverse chin lock. It gets dull. But if you're going to just put an armbar in, honestly, hold it for five seconds, get whipped off the ropes, do like five or six sequence of moves, works. You don't even remember the armbar. You're just like, Whoa, look at that flippy, flippy stuff. Ooh, that hard strike. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
And once Rusev gets in, again, he just starts to beat on Ricochet again. Rusev is just a brute. Um, Andrade dies quick, too. And when Andrade and, and Black actually get in there, ooh, it feels like an NXT house show event. That's really cool. Um, again, Ricochet and Black are now gelling as a tag team. They have uh, quick, ta quick tags, a lot of uh, double team sequences. So it was really good. Um, Ali doesn't get in really till the end. Um, hits the 450 splash. It was a really good match. I mean, I enjoyed it. I think, I mean, the little part for me was the fact that they they shortened Ollie's name. And let's see here. Something Saturday night. I know what I forgot. So again, that was that was a surf and turf match. I forgot my shout out list. Heading on my back. Little Fettuccini 69. Again, he watched both shows, so he gets one shout out for watching one shout out per show. This air guitar goes out to you. And I did check out Little Nas Times Old Town. It seems to be more upbeat country music. I'll have to, I'll have to actually watch something. I just kind of only because he kept on mentioning it, mentioning it. I figured I would mention it. And eventually, I think I have to subscribe to your page too. It's kind of cool. So then, Our Truth and Carmela came up. Um, they just really start to hype. Oh, I know. <laughs> Corey Graves said, yeah, maybe they'll be on Shotgun Saturday night. Is that a thing still? No idea. But um, our truth and Carmela came out. They hyped up Becky Lynch. They hyped up Kofi Kingston. And then Samoa Joe just came out. Beat up our truth Put him the Coquina Clutch. Coquina Clutch him out of the ring. I mean, Truth tried. About five seconds. But the crowd just chanted, Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. And uh, when Joe talks, you better listen. Um, he just calls up the whole locker room. I put Ray Mysterio to sleep in less than 60 seconds. I dare anyone to. And Samoa Joe, what are you thinking? Because Braun Strowman comes out. And people are still chanting, Joe, Joe, Joe. Um, Braun did get in a good deal. Of, he escaped the Coquina Clutch. He got him up for the running power slam, but Joe evaded. Maybe this will set up something later between, jo between Samoa Joe and Braun Strowman. And then, of course, Samoa Joe leaves. He's like, no, I'm getting my belt. I'm out of here. Braun, Braun! Get these hands. I forget if there was a get these hands chant. And then the Iconics came out when Braun Strowman was going up the ramp and he just looked totally confused. And they wanted to shake his hand. They look 
so tiny in comparison to Braun. I think Braun equals three Iconics or something. But the Iconics, they had a match. They cut their promo. Um, they faced the Brooklyn Bells. <laughs> it's funny the fact that Corey Graves was definitely being the heel. They didn't get their first names right. It was the Brooklyn Bells. If, for all intents and purposes, it was a squash match. It was a squash match. You know what? I was entertained, though. It's still a ham sandwich. Then Paige shows up. Paige makes the announcement that I think they're going to be more fighting champs. And that we'll see what happens for the superstar shakeup. No teams are safe. No couples are safe. No one's safe. So um, then we have a Shane McMahon promo. This is funny. And this is where the smarky crowd came into play. Because um, he showed highlights of WrestleMania where he where um, the Miz's dad, George Mazzano, got in the ring to, to attack him. And the whole crowd was chanting, Mr. Miz, Mr. Miz, Mr. Miz. And he, of course he was talking some more, yeah, whatever, Mr. Miz. And then the crowd demanded to be heard because you heard CM Punk, CM Punk. CM Punk. CM Punk. CM Punk. CM Punk. And to that, he just goes, Really? That was pretty cool. So he kind of blew that off. So that was, that was, that was fun. Then next, we have the tag team match of the tag team bustle line. The Uso Penitentiary versus. Yes, the Hardys. Oh, this are oh, they were actually the old school Hardys. They kind of face shift back back and forth between old school Hardys and the broken Hardys. Yes. So that was. I mean, this was an amazing match. I mean, Matt Hardy looks good. He looks so much in better shape. He has his speed back. Um, granted, he didn't do any of the really crazy stuff. They saved that, of course, for his brother, Jeff. And it was great because, well, it, it was really darn good. I think there were a couple of botchy moments. Again, miscommunication with the Usos. A really botchy point, I think, with Jimmy Uso. I mean, just didn't look right. I mean, sometimes it doesn't look right, but as that, oh wow, this is a fight. That's just it. That doesn't look right. Um, at one point, uh, the Uso, I think it was Jimmy, tried to do the whisper in the wind. Jeff moved out of the way. Jeff really did the Jeff really Jeff really did the whisper in the wind on him. So it's cool. Jimmy Uso's a move thief. Hey, it's new, it's fresh. It's always I can overlook some of the botchiness if, if they do. New stuff, or at least at least try. I mean, hey, the worst comes to worst that you fail, but at least you try. At least it's not the <laughs> the five moves of doom: shoulder tackle, shoulder tackle, back drop, back body drop, five knuckle shelf AA. At least it's not that predictable, which is good. Um, again, this was for the best brothers, but you know what? The best brother tag team. Ever! It's still the Steinert brothers. Then probably Harlem Heat. So best brothers tag teams. Steinert brothers, Harlem Heat, Minnesota Wrecking Crew. The Hardys. I guess you'd have to say the Dudleys because they were the Dudley, Dudley boys. And the Usos don't even make the top. Don't even make the top five. Wow. I actually had to think about that one. And I'm sure there. Go back in history. I'm sure there's some other brother combination that is like the Moon Dogs. Moon Dogs aren't in the top fifty tag team. I'm sorry. That's going back quite a time though. Again, the tandem offense offense by both teams. 
the sequence they were just doing, it was amazing. The Hardys one, again, their, their classic way after Jeff finally did hit a twist of fate. And Jeff Hardy hit the Swanton Bomb. It was over. Hardy's win. And, of course, in this match, there were the... Ooh, so... Of course... Delete! 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 So, again, that's always fun. And, again, this was a, this was a really good match. The botchiness... I, with, because of the botchiness and, and kind of like the miscommunication, it's not a flame match. But it's definitely a surf and turf match. And then, of course, Lars Sullivan comes out again. Just destroys the new tag team champions. He is the, the monster heel. So it'll be interesting to see what will happen between him and Braun Strowman. Unless Lars Sullivan actually goes to Raw and Braun goes to because you really don't want to have two monsters on the same show, I guess. And then you have a Becky Lynch promo. It was good. Can't complain. Late Lacey having jumps at the end. Okay. What was it? You can't. Oh, Lars Sullivan actually got a. You can't wrestle. Can't. It's not good. Crowd's already booing him. Getting X Pac heat. Not good. So again, New J. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Becky Lynch cuts a promo. Eventually, Lacey, Lacey Evans jumps her a little bit more effectively this time. And there's no wardrobe malfunction ish. So I guess that was a probably got talked to it's like listen, you can't be showing your black panties every time you go on raw. So this time Becky, you're going to sell her punch. And Lacey, you're gonna be standing up straight. Your hat's fine, who cares? You just, you just can't see down there. Well there's gonna be no thank you, Becky moment. Oh well. Then we have the New Day versus The Bar and Drew McIntyre. It was a good match. It seemed really short because the crowd... I mean, it didn't really start until like 10 minutes left in the show. Sami Zayn comes out, interrupts the crowd. And the Oh! 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 oh let's go! Oh! Oh oh, 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 let's go. And he was going to speak, and I don't know if he forgot his lines or if he was just like reveling in the moment. But he's like, Yeah, you're not worth it. Bop. Mic drop. Boom goes the dynamite. Now I'm done. So then this was a good match. Um,. Sheamus and Sheamus really took most of the beating of it. And from all the New Day, it was a showcase of New Day. It was a celebration of New Day, so I was kind of fine with that. Drew McIntyre, again, he got he got into um, Xavier Woods pretty good. Uh, he, Cesaro can sell anything. He's so good because he was selling the overhead belly-to-bellies. He was selling regular belly-to-bellies. Sold the Big E drop. That was awesome. Cesaro is so good. Cesaro, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Seamus, eh, whatever. But Cesaro, Cesaro is really good. Again, the New Day, it's good to see them as a tag team and do that whole celebration. Um, the New Day did go over. Eh, cheeseburger match. And again, with that, it was really a celebration, especially towards the end of Kofi Kingston. He had all the big moves that he could. It was a good, warm, a good, fuzzy moment. And for the most part, that was SmackDown. And again, it just seemed a little bit better than Raw. But that's the way it's been trending, so who knows. Um, now for some news. Um, 
I want to say I'm 87% sure. You'll see this guy, Hobo Tom, at the Sanford Civic Center, 7.30 p.m., probably pretty close to that, for NXT, 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 NXT. That's enough of that. And then one day you'll also see me at Southern Pro Lucha Libre. More so, at least, you'll see me at NXT. So again, if you want to say hi, feel free to. I might ask you to cut a promo for me. I'll hopefully get some more wrestlers' pictures because they kind of show up at, at weird times. And it's like MJ Jenkins did. That was pretty cool, though. And I'm happy to say that I did have a pretty bad curse streak going. Whereas whenever I got female wrestlers selfie, I think they like destroyed their knees the next time. I'm so sorry. Happened to, to the girl with the shiniest wizard, Nixon Newell. And then Chelsea hurt her knee. I blame myself. I took a selfie with him. I, I, I put the jinx on him. But for the most part, that's it. So again, probably Saturday night, Sunday morning. Look forward to seeing that NXT video and my recap and review of it. Other than that, I'm going to take a break from wrestling. I'm, I get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow. So, good night all. <laughs>